Hi. Now, so I just want to clear uh, what way you can start embedded system uh, learning process by understanding complete domain from electronics. So I just I prepared myself one introduction PPT. So this PPT, so as long as which is going to clear all your uh, fundamental doubts regarding to domain differentiation and as well as uh, what the topics uh, which needs to learn mm -hmm. to become a good electronics or embedded engineer in this platform. So just welcome to this and now so if you look out your any electronic system like so which is a combination of uh, different kinds of inputs and different kinds of output so so if you see any electronic system in the world which is from calculated to industry level application like so which is a combination of any input and output and within this electronic system who is the a device which is going to operate or which is going to take care of the complete operation and like a human body so how the brain is the important part in our uh, human body which is going to control everything like sensing uh, smelling every action whatever you want to do you should get the signal from your brain the same way so this complete electronic system operation decided by this intelligent device so this intelligent device is the important part from your electronic system so as an engineer like you have to talk with this intelligent device by using a specific language so these are the different combinational inputs like you can take all all inputs like as switch or sensors or keypads keyboards card readers or modules like you people can use any one of this as an input device and this system will take care of sensing the signals from all these input devices which is going to control your output so in output side you people can prefer any screens like indicators lcd screens or motors or audio video electrical loads and as well as modules so the same modem i can use even in the output side also so this is a simple electronic system overview to the engineer like if you want to operate one electronic system you need one input device and you are going to observe one output device from your system and as per our knowledge like so these are these are the intelligent devices from electronics background which are microprocessors, microcontrollers, digital signal processors and field programmable gate array which is FPGA and PLC programmable logic controller. So these are the five programmable devices from electronics background. So you people can pick any one of these programmable device as an intelligent device in your system and generally people will to tell the combination of software and hardware which will become your embedded system see all systems which are a combination of these two even VLSI and DSP system and automation system but particularly how which is different from other fields and how you can differ from stream to stream with these two combinations like to develop your software what language you are going to use and to develop your uh, and from your hardware part which is the programmable device so this will decide your electronic system which is comes under embedded or which is comes under DSP or which is comes under VLSI or which is comes under automation the C and microcontroller microprocessor combination will become your embedded system so if you are developing your application by using microprocessor or microcontroller or controller or processor as a programmable device and to develop your source code you should you have to use C is a programming language and whenever you are looking this MATLAB and DSP combination so that will become your DSP system and the next combination which is Verilog or VHDL is the language 
to develop your software and FPGA is the programmable device. So this combination will make you VLSI system. And this ladder logic and PLC combination which will become your automation system. This way you should differentiate your electronic systems based on software development language and based on your intelligent device in the system. So this combination is clear to you like which is related to embedded, which is related to VLSI, which is related to DSP and which is related to automation. And this is a simple overview like whenever you people are looking to design one electronic system by using processor. See your processor doesn't allow your input and output combinations and embedded people you should concentrate on more and more about processors and controllers. So until unless you are not focusing on processors and controllers so you, you never become a good embedded engineer. So why our people are dealing with only these devices because as a programmable devices if you use processor or a controller which is comes under embedded domain so but once you are looking to use this processor as an intelligent device so which needs all these additional peripherals like for connecting input and output devices you have to use PPI here PPI stands for programmable peripheral interface and this memory, why you need this memory? So you should, it, it has to store your instructions, what you are writing. Until unless you don't have memory in your connected with your device, it is not possible to store commands or instructions. So your processor is not going to give direct binary outputs by applying only binary inputs. You should pass a suitable command or instruction. Until unless you are not giving any instruction to this, so it doesn't provide your binary outputs from your processor and this is the evolution of processors and this processor which are introduced by Intel Corporation in 1970s with 4 bit capacity. The first microprocessor which is 4001 and with 4 bit so the bit generation which deals with how many bit which will take to process at a time which is 4 bit, 8 bit, 16 bit and 32 bit and 64 bit so these are the example devices for all these different generations so what are the why people are looking to design all kinds of applications by using microcontroller so you should know the simple and characteristics of embedded system and once you are designing your electronic system there should be two combination and as well as application should be very specific so this specific means like it has to applicable for only the functionality which is defined by engineer and every electronic system which has to work 365 days and 24 by 7 and so this is not reprogrammable by an user And these are the various examples from medical side and robotics and gadgets and all meters, readers and all display boards. These are the sign boards from embedded technology. But whereas whenever you are looking to design your electronic system by using controller, you people can, this device allows direct inputs and as well as you can control your outputs directly without additional devices and these are the simple evolutions like now in the market with 32 bit generation is running now for your controllers 8 16 and 32 and various applications you people can design with processor or controller in consumer electronics, automotives, communication, medical, office, transport, railways, retail, energy, power, industrial, defense, space, aerospace. These are all the different fields. People require so many products from all these different streams. 
and some more television tv remotes microwaves calculators refrigerators and washing machines and number of products by processors and controllers by writing suitable c programs and still other applications from consumer side personal digital assistants mp3 players mobile phones video games digital cameras dvd players printers and coming to the automobiles which is anti lock braking system stability control in measuring petrol measuring air volume everything so you should do with embedded technology even trans traction control and four wheel drive and this is about medical and x ray machines and bp sugar everything you can test by using simple electronic gadgets and these are all in telecom walkie talkies mobile phones so routers hubs and servers so many applications are present in telecom communication and offices so general like at least one man deal with 10 electronic gadgets per requirements and this is a transport sector like nowadays every position every place which is linked with maps by doing gps tracking traffic signalings display boards toll collection you can find easily on toll the gate after paying money gate will open before that gate will close so this are all done automatically there is no manual operation there as well as security surveillance cc cameras so many n number of applications and still some railways track maintenance air conditioning public announcement so all this comes in your transport side and in retail so the product they will use barcode readers by using rf files and point of sale and weighing machines and announcement systems token dispenser systems and card reader system so everything which is comes under retail market so in towards robotics so defense aerospace sector so all this they will design with embedded technology and this embedded technology which needs more and more compact power consumption and cost so anyone they will look out every development which is related to component count in order like cost size and power consumption so these are the three important thing about electronic product whenever they want to design and these are all stand alone devices and different types of embedded systems stand alone network based mobile devices means which are portable you can carry from one place to other place and real time systems like atm machine so which will update every information to the bank after your simple transaction and to become a engineer like you should know about one programmable device compulsory and one programming language and one operating system so by learning these three you can start platform you can know at least the importance of learning electronics platform and what our people will deal here like so you have some different modules like anyway to become a good engineer you need one programming language stuff which is c language for embedded people and 
like all people will teach microcontroller system design which which will clear you like how this system design is very important by using processor or controller and firmware development which allows to design your own and simple projects by using different input and output combination like keypads keyboards switches and display screens so all you can you can do in the firmware development and now we'll other next module we'll start with other tools like you should know the differences how to work with different families and how to work with different microcontrollers in the market so based on requirement they have their own popularity in the market so that's why even you should know about the other different development tools arduino avr and to update yourself towards your devices knowledge you have to know about arm architecture so which is a 32 bit generation families which allows to understand 32 bit processors and as well as 32 bit controllers of later we will shift to to os based applications by learning complete linux platform so this linux platform is open source to everyone they can develop a their own applications and they can make it as a operating system and they can download they can dump into the boards target boards so based on requirement so up to firmware development in arduino families these are all non os development which is stand alone c programs you are going to download into the device and you are testing your applications but whereas this advanced devices allows operating systems because of huge memory support and they can do more number of applications because of advancement so so many advanced and additional features from advanced families so and you you are going to implement one project to prove yourself by knowing all the skills from different modules you should implement one real time project by learning complete modules and this is our address you can approach us to initiate your embedded learning procedure okay if you need any information call us over phone and email us thank you